Hello, hi guys. So in this video, let us look how can we access a private variable outside the class. So let's begin. So let me create a class called test. And here I'll create a public variable, public. So then I'll uh, say integer public and I'll initialize this one with 10. So similarly, I'll create two more private variable. Let's say private 20 and in enders private to private to and let me initialize with this 30 so semicolon so what happens here is when i try to create an instance so the compiler will allocate a memory in a contiguous way so what does it mean so that means the memory allocated for this object is a continuous so like an array so first it will initialize uh, so first it will allocate a memory for this integer so then it will allocate a memory for this 20 and 30 it's not basically 20 and 30 it's basically two integers so when i try to print a size of this object so let me print a size of this object size of t backslash n and let's try to compile this one g plus plus main dot cpp a dot out can you see here it is 12 the size of the object is 12 so that means the total size of this object the size of this object is the total size of the number of variables which is present in this class so here integer is 4 byte this is 4 byte and this is 4 bytes and overall it is printing 12 bytes so what if i do divided by size of integer so if i try to compile sorry size of size of if i try to compile this one it is giving 3 so that means i could able to see there are three variables which is present inside this test so by taking this advantages of contiguous uh, memory allocation so what i'll do is i'll create a pointer integer pointer let's call it as iterator so then i'll type cast my address of this object t into integer pointer so then what i'll do is for int i is equal to i is equal to 0 i is less than size of uh, t divided by size of int then i plus plus so then i will try to print the values iter is equal to iter of i is equal to then i'll dereference this iterator so then backslash in so then i'll what i'll do is i'll increment this iterator to go to this next location so then i will compile this one and see the output so can you see here the iterator 0 is 10 20 and 30 and can you see here that 20 and 30 is a private variable correct right so since like uh, all the class object memory has been allocated contiguously so we could able to do something like this but what happens if i do something called character here char or somewhere here a string or something like this so then we could able to do all this pointer hangama and we could able to access this private variable but knowing like we should know about like how the memory has been allocated so by this way you could able to access a private variable in a c plus uh, plus class outside the object itself outside the class you could able to access the private variable so hope you like this video so if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you